then the author is going to say, um, do their introduction, <clears throat> and it's pretty much uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, they say that uh, if the fraction of missing data, data is sufficiently small, a common pre-processing step is to perform imputation or filling, filling in to fill in the missing values and proceed with conventional methods for further processing. So if there's just few missing values, you know, you just uh, fill them in as best you can one time and just move on. Any errors introduced by inaccurate imputation may be considered insignificant in terms of the entire processing chain. So, um, yeah, with a larger proportion of measurements being missing, uh, errors caused by the imputation are increasingly increasingly relevant as error errors propagate in non-obvious ways. So, like we, we saw here, um, when there's a lot of missing values, you can just fill it in and go on like nothing happened. If it's just like one value here missing, then you can, you know, put something in and, you know, it's not going to really make a difference. But if it's a lot, then you really want to fill them in a few times. And then uh, you can see how it affects your results. You know, you fill them in a few times, calculate for each one. Basically, you have to take uh, serious care and like really, really um, analyze your process of how you deal with missing data if it's a lot. If it's just one or two, you know, you just fill something in and move on.